This short video will provide an overview of how this Pinnacle integration will work when you subscribe to this service. We will share useful tips on how to set up your preferences and how the recall data and any associated warnings will be displayed. Firstly, we will cover how to manage your preferences. This is important as it will determine how parts are flagged within the system when a recall notice is found against a vehicle. To find the four options relevant to the recall function, simply type recall into the search bar. Individual yards will have different preferences regarding the options they select here. A brief explanation of each of the settings is displayed, but we recommend you read the documentation thoroughly for full details of the options available. We believe that the above settings would be the preferred option, as, once a recall search had been carried out, should an active recall be found, a warning would display on the MVR record and on the individual parts, and the user would be prompted to check for recalls again when the MVR is next opened after 30 days has elapsed. The warning flag could then easily be removed from individual parts not affected by the recall once the recall details had been scrutinised. When you first open the MVR, you will notice a red warning bar across the bottom of the screen, indicating that the vehicle has a recall notice saved against it. However, if a new recall has been issued against the vehicle, this may not always be the case. To display the exact details of this notice and get the most up-to-date recall information, you will want to run a manual search. To do this, select Actions from the menu at the top of the screen, then select the Recall Search option. The VIN will populate in the pop-up that appears. Simply click OK to confirm the VIN. As recalls are logged against the VIN, it is important that VIN details are being accurately entered for all vehicles if this search function is to be effective. The most recent recall information available will then display. If we look closely at the data here, it shows the recall information as taken directly from the supplier. The recall information we get back from the service never marks a specific part as affected by recall. It will always mark the whole MVR and, if the first preference is set, all parts in stock for that vehicle. It never selectively marks parts as it's impossible to interpret the data accurately enough to pinpoint exactly which parts are affected. You will need to make an informed decision of what action to take with the vehicle and any associated parts. We will now cover how to set up the MVR record to display the Recalls tab to show the results of the most recent manual recall search. To do this, right-click on any of the tabs within the MVR, select Show View, then select Recall Info. In this tab, in addition to the most recently searched recall information, you will also see a full record of all recall searches run against this vehicle for audit purposes. This search will also show in the History tab, where you can trace all actions carried out on the vehicle record. If the part has been flagged as having a recall against it, then an exclamation mark will display in the Resolution column, highlighted in red. To view the recall information available, click once on the exclamation mark. You are then able to make a decision on whether to withdraw the part from sale or clear the part recall flag to indicate the part is OK to sell. How you manage the removal of affected parts can then follow your existing processes. This will be particularly important for recalls that are issued after a part has been added to your stock. We will now go through how to remove the Has Recall Info checkbox in the Parts screen for unaffected parts. To remove the flag, double-click on the part record. To the right of the screen we can see a small checkbox titled Has Recall Info. This is what generates the recall warning. Simply deselect this checkbox. And when you close the part record down, you will see that the warning has now been removed and the sale of this part would not be affected by the recall notice in place against other parts on the vehicle. Lastly, we will demonstrate how the parts will display from the Sales menu. In this example, we will search for a part from a vehicle that will display a recall. We can now see the records available for this part, which may display a warning indicator depending on your preferences. 
In this example, the warning flag is displayed as the airbag has an active Takata recall. We recommend that you read through the documentation thoroughly to decide which recall preferences will work for you. We also recommend that all stock has a VIN entered in the MVR record. Remember, the auto alert service offered by AAR will only work if the vehicle VIN is logged in their database. You will need to have previously run a recall search on the VIN for this to happen, such as when any new vehicle is entered into Pinnacle or a manual recall search is done. To discuss how this service would benefit your organisation, please contact our sales manager. For further support with system functionality for existing subscribers, please log a call online using JIRA or call our service desk. Thank you.